Oh, rainy and cool. Our weather's changing for sure right now. It makes you kind of want a pot roast. I have a kid that's been begging for chili all summer. Oh. I can't have chili until it gets cooler. <laughs> it's time. This is the time. What birds eat this time of year also switches up, and there are some new things to shop for. Yeah, back from Wild Birds Unlimited, Marge Knutson. Hi, hey, Marge. Marge. Nice Good morning. We got some critters that are coming back. We got some returning characters. We got some um, maybe new ones too, right? Uh -huh. Right. Um, the Dark-eyed juncos will be here soon, uh -huh. um, and we've had a few people see red-breasted nuthatches already. already. So this may be an eruption year for them. We'll just have to watch and see. That sounds mm. interesting. Yeah, it's an eruption year. We're an eruption year. <laughs> uh, and we have some other critters to talk about, Marge. That's These right. are the seed critters, and we gave our viewers a quick look at an example before the break. Mm -hmm. Your shoppers love these. So which ones are back, and then what's new? Okay. Well, the squirrel that you have on the screen now mm -hmm. is new this year and he's a lot of fun he's even holding his own peanuts uh -huh. and so uh, a lot of fun and these are all really high quality seeds so the birds love them they so yeah do. there's here's the squirrel marge brought him in for us and then did you have this guy last we've year? had the raccoon I remember last the raccoon. Year. yeah mm -hmm. do the squirrels yeah. eat this stuff they'll eat that if, they'll eat all of it they'll if they can this. get to it and then we have this little trio marge these yeah. are fun yeah, they're just little seed owls. If you decorate a tree for fall uh -huh. or for Halloween, they're a fun little thing to okay, add to so it. So some people might wonder, cute, but how do I hang them? Okay, the owls have their own little um, twine hangers, mm -hmm. so they are all ready to go. Awesome, and but then the bigger characters? They will fit on any of the feeders that um, have the cylinder post yeah. in the center. So you just slide so them right slide over. Them and then, right, and then the top over there goes on top uh -huh. to... Um, but then, if you right. want more, like these are huge. Yeah, if these you're going to go on vacation for a week or two or three. Pull one of those out. Just put one of those out and you're good to go. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, that's a cardinal. <laughs> right. Uh, <laughs> uh, and you can you're see funny. how the, the cap protects the seed from the uh -huh, snow. Right. So that's another option for you. But then uh -huh. there's also, you know, we talked about the squirrels. Mm -hmm. And the, do these tubes, the seed tubes, do they prevent the squirrels from getting into them? No, they won't. But the there squirrels are ways will still get in? They will get into Jeez, those. they're um, pesky, aren't they? <laughs> we do have some squirrel poof feeders that the weight of the squirrel will, will close the uh -huh. access to the seed. Mm -hmm. I just didn't happen to bring one yeah. of those today. But these tubes are cool. They're easy to fill. They're easy to fill. Birds they're love easy them. to clean. And they also have a lifetime warranty. What kind of seed can we put in those? Any of the big seed that is like a sunflower mix mm -hmm. or sunflower or sunflower hearts or the no mess blends will all go in that. Okay, so feeder. basically the, the bags that you brought in right. work there, but then we also have um, these other options here, Marge, that right. are really cool. Um, and th these are simple. I feel like there's it's just like taking the mess out of it, yeah. taking the hassle out of it. Well, they're the bricks, right. the blocks here, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All you have brick. to do is take it out of the wrapper and stick it in the feeder right. and hang it out. You're mm -hmm. good How to go. How easy is that? So this that? just slides right into the cage. Right, mm -hmm. it does. And that formula there for woodpeckers, and so you've got some other options depending on, as homeowners, what we'd like to attract. That's right. Or if your kids are getting into it, this, some of my best memories are with my grandmother watching cardinals out the window and uh -huh. the doves and everything. Maybe that's those are memories that you want to make too. I think it's great to get your grandkids involved. Right. And this is a peanut. That's a peanut feeder. You can use peanuts out of the shell or you yeah. can use our bark butter bits. They're mm -hmm. our little suet nuggets that birds just love. Mm -hmm. and yeah, and this is small. It's tidy. Um, right. And it's a little uh -huh. more decorative too. Yep. And then these trays, Marge, right? It, yeah, anything. You can do the peanuts, you can do bird seed, yeah. you can do peanuts in the shell if you want to feed. And if you don't want to buy gym. buy something year after year, that recycled product holds up beautifully in our Nebraska right. winters. And why is this bark butter uh, such a good option? It's for a people? great option for winter. It has um, fat and protein, mm -hmm. which are things that birds need to keep them warm mm -hmm. in the winter time. Mm -hmm. We are showing you a lot of bird food here this morning, and there's a reason. And why it is on sale this month? All October. How much are we saving, Marge? Ten percent off all the bird food in this store. Awesome. Let's keep on going down okay. the line. We showed you the cylinders uh -huh. and the seed critters, and then back to this cage idea, Marge. And these bricks. Um, which birds are we attracting with these three formulas? With the um, suets, you're going to get the woodpeckers, chickadees, nuthatches. The blue jays eat it. Um, I have robins that eat it, and uh -huh. I have a few robins that hang around all winter, so it's fun to have something out for them. Uh -huh. And then, and then this. that's a seed mix with um, mealworms in it, so pretty much any bird will eat uh -huh. that. Well, speaking I, of mealworms, I, Mark. I couldn't wait to get to this. Uh, <laughs> now, what are these things? Well, you got the bark butter we just went by. Yeah, but, but then. The bucket of dried what? mealworms. These are dried mealworms. We also have live mealworms, but some uh -huh. people don't like to that's deal with that. That's what I used to feed my lizards, but I guess <laughs> I'm thinking about seeds. birds. Right. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. They're all they're, dried up, They're right? dried up, and then you put them out, and dead. they're a great um, protein source. In the winter, insects aren't available, so mealworms make the a great protein source. The same reason we're talking source. about pot roast and uh, chili. This exactly. does it for birds. How much would you go through on something like this? That seems like a big <laughs> container. Well, it depends on how many birds you have. Yeah. Um, in yeah. my yard, I'd probably go through that in uh -huh. maybe two weeks. And yeah, then hummingbirds, yeah. Marge, she, she can... I mean, really, guys, her store has so much. It's just a small selection here. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to ask you before we run out of time, since this cold weather is coming, open water sources are huge yeah, because, you know, good. everything freezes over. But mm -hmm. you've even got solutions for that at Wild Birds Unlimited. We have heated bird baths that have the heaters built in. Yeah. And mm -hmm. we also have the bird bath heaters. If you, we don't recommend it for concrete, but if you mm -hmm. have metal or um, one of the granite bird baths, uh -huh. it's just fine to put uh, yeah. plastic. You could put heaters in plastic. And I like this one because you can attach it to your deck right there. And mm -hmm. it's a small, right. it's tidy, and it, keep, it yeah. prevents the water from freezing. Wild Birds Unlimited, you're right there in Rock Brook Village, WBUOmaha.com. Mm -hmm. And then again, bird seed on sale all month long. Right. Love it. Knowledge, savings. Hard to beat, Marge. That's right. Thank and you. And mealworm. And mealworms. <laughs> Good right. stuff. We were trying to get Mike to eat him, but <laughs> it's too bad the bucket is sealed. Otherwise, I would have done it. Marge, thanks for coming in. <laughs> Marge is willing to accommodate yeah, you. Thanks, Marge. No thanks. Uh, Want to know where? where